Hello, everyone, and welcome to Thursday Live Lesson. My name is Aldrin Guerrero, joined by Mr. Aaron, the voice. Now, come say what's up, Aaron. What's up? And Mr. Kahai, the legend, Fergan. Say what's up, Kahai. What's up? We are once again doing this remotely because nothing's going to stop us. Nothing's going to stop us now. <laughs> so, you know, just like, just like the mannequin, nothing's going to stop us. Okay. Um, how, this, how this works is... Um, you guys send us questions and we answer them as best as we can. We get um, we get questions from all over the place. We have um, we have email. We have uh, UU Plus. We have Ukulele Underground. Um, any way we can get them, uh, we'll try to answer them as best as we can. So I'll answer as best as I can. These two guys will come up with their two cents and we'll come up with a super answer just for you. I believe we also have a phone number or a Skype thing that they, people can call, right, Kai? Uh, we have a phone number that people can call and leave messages to, yeah. So. Yeah, I, I love that. Why don't people use that more? I think that's way, you know, <laughs> that's way cooler. Like I, I could feel like a real radio host because I feel like a radio host right now. You know, like with this, mm-hmm. this thing in front of me and the headphones and stuff. Like I want to, I want to do Love Line one of these days. You know, <laughs> 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 I want to have like a big board where I can just like press the button and like, like a next caller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. Can we can we do that, guy? Can we do something like that? Uh, you can set up a big board. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna get one of those. <laughs> no, I mean like just people call it in and stuff. Is that is that is that a thing? Uh, yeah, we still have the number. The number is still active, and people can call in and leave messages and stuff. So, what is, what is the number? Can we give the number out? Uh, um, yeah, I uh, I gotta go find it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. I'll try to look it up right now. But all right, while while Aaron is doing that, let's go answer our first question of the day. So go ahead, Kahai, give uh, hit me. Um. Uh, well. We we didn't have like email questions and stuff, and mm-hmm. uh, I just saw in the chat that yeah. uh, our, our uh, like two of our members are talking, and Renee okay. asked, "What's a musubi?" And, and what is a musubi? <laughs> <laughs> musubi, yeah. It's <laughs> a yeah. so, musubi. So a musubi is. I mean, I don't. I don't think I should. Should the Filipino guy answer this question? You know, there's two Japanese people on this uh, on this stream right <laughs> now. No, well, I um. Okay, a spam musubi is basically spam, rice, and nori, which is a seaweed that, that wraps around it. A musubi is basically just that without the spam. And it can be anything, you know, it can be anything. Chicken chicken musubi, beef musubi, spam musubi. So it's basically just rice. Sometimes season doesn't have to, you know. Um, in Japan, whenever I had a musubi in Japan... It's uh, it's usually like rice um, with with a little bit of salt just to kind of salt it up and then they it's like a rice ball that they well, like an onigiri but then just the rice with the nori like on top of it. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's my uh, is that right, Japanese folks? <laughs> <laughs> and, Do I pass? Is, Do I pass a test? <laughs> is musubi even Japanese? Is that or is <laughs> that true. just like a only Hawaii thing? <laughs> oh no, it's it's called musubi in Japan. Yeah. Really? Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Like specifically, yeah, because I thought it was like onigiri. Yeah, yeah. Specific. They're, usually, they're talking about that the you know the triangle ones mm, specifically. Mm. So yeah, and then they'll they'll have like um you know they'll have plum on it or they'll have yeah. like fish inside and different fillings and stuff. Yeah. So you can kind of do different stuff with it. Where where is Ryan when you need Ryan? Right? Like he should. I think he would know. Yeah. He's even yeah, got the words sure. and stuff. Yeah. He <laughs> would know, know that the actual terminology <laughs> for the Japanese versions. Yeah. See if we had a call in, we'd call Ryan. We're like let's call Ryan right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like I was gonna. I was gonna ask. Have you mm. uh, talked with Mike recently? We should have him on. Mike. Uh, which Mike? Odo. Oh no! Yeah, we should. Okay, so how about, how about this? Next week, um, we'll, we'll have Mike on the phone because I'm sure he's you know just chilling at home. <laughs> like, we'll have Mike on the phone. We'll uh, we'll we'll go talk to Mike real quick. Does he not have like mm-hmm. a like an iPad or something that we can just give him the so he can call in or he can actually be a part of the room? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, yeah. he might have a computer. I'm not too sure. Yeah. But I, I'll go. I'll go ask him though. I'll I'll talk to him this week. I mean, we'll bring him down. We'll have Magic Mike answer some questions. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll give him the link to the Zoom and everything. So, yeah, it can be sounds directly good. in Sounds there. good. Yeah. Any other questions? Um, so, Chris <laughs> asked. <laughs> okay. Uh, when you pick out less song lessons for UU+, Plus, are there any mm. copyright restrictions that limit you from what songs you select to do? Or do you need permission? How does that work? Mm. Um, oh, 
I'm not sure how to answer this one. There is, I mean, there's definitely some copyright like restrictions that you know that we do. Um, some people are not as strict about it, and some people are very strict about it. So we've we've kind of narrowed down like who's who's going to like take down the video like right away, and who isn't going to take down the video right away, and we just kind of put it put it up until someone does, I guess. But then we try to stay clear from the people who will immediately pull us down because we don't want to like do the lesson work like super hard on it and then like. And then it just gets taken away, you know, like, and, and we don't want to like go through the back door and put it in our UU plus so that like people can still see it with, you know, and we don't want to be shady that way. So we just try to stay away from um, from the ones that are super strict about copyright stuff. Um, there are some songs that we asked. We did ask permission if we knew the people, you know, who uh, who did that song. Um, but for the most part, um, yeah, we just we just try to make notes and who who or, likes us and does it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, or we do songs that are in the public domain too yeah <clears throat> like classic songs and stuff like that so. yeah 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 because <clears throat> usually those songs um they're they're a little bit more lenient with and i mean youtube is is kind of a lot more lenient now than it was before <clears throat> i think Excuse me. <laughs> See, this is why I shouldn't have eaten chocolate before. Like starting the <laughs> chocolate yeah. and peanut butter. It's like this. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, you know, there uh, before like they would just kind of give you a strike or they would put it down and stuff. But at least now, like um, if it does go, you know, um, through some copyright stuff, they might just maybe put an ad on it. You know, like they're a lot more lenient than they were before. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of keep that in mind as well. And yeah. So yeah, yeah, we go. actually don't don't make any <clears throat> money from our YouTube account. We no, we have, yeah, yeah, we haven't signed up as a YouTube partner like yeah. even from the beginning. And so. then um, yeah, so so all of the the artists that we do covers of they yeah. whoever owns the rights to those songs they get the the money for it. Mm -hmm. all the ad ad revenue from those views anyway. So it doesn't right. yeah it doesn't really matter. It's kind of yeah, and <laughs> that, that's. Yeah sort of how it works right and even like with vimeo too vimeo mm -hmm. has like their their way of um copyright claiming stuff so yeah and that's <clears throat> that's why we don't have our play button yet we're not a partner i'm a partner though <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> i should get my yeah. button <laughs> yeah but yeah it's kind of that that's sort of the reason why like because we played around with the idea of hosting videos uh, ourselves early on but it just was it just made more sense to have it hosted with YouTube or mm. whoever else. Yeah. Before, like, you know, uh, who, who are we with? Uh, Vidler. Yeah. In Vidler. The beginning. Yeah. Vidler. In the very beginning, we yeah. were with Vidler and then yeah. um, moved everything to YouTube. And yeah. We, we were video. using a lot of like different, you know, different stuff, even just with streaming too, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah we've, we've, uh, we've weathered every single storm in the past like 11 <laughs> <Yeah>. years. <laughs> Yeah, I, is Ustream still a thing? You no, know, um, I, I, have, I haven't checked. <laughs> no, I, or I, I think if you go to their site, their site might still up. But yeah, the CEO like was nobody's working there. Nobody's like supporting it. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I don't think it yeah. really works, you know, or functions kind of like mm -hmm. MySpace yeah. or whatever. Yeah, there was one before that, right? We used another streaming service before Ustream. Yeah. What I forgot what that one was called, but we did Ustream. We did like one other one after that, and then we started doing this like YouTube stream. Yeah, I yeah, I had a yeah. a funny email because somebody like called in and they asked like, "Oh, why are your videos all squished when you stream and stuff?" And they're talking about <laughs> the old Ustream. And it's like, mm. oh, because Ustream didn't support, like, the wide format. <laughs> so you just squish the video into a rectangle, right? And yeah. people forget that, like, all videos used to look like that, too. So, yeah. yeah, like, a lot of our older, I mean, you pretty much can't find them anymore. But our older videos would look like that, too. So mm -hmm. yeah, we're showing our age. It's kind of like, why Why do you have these lines on your eyes? You know, it's kind of like somebody <laughs> asking that, like, oh, my God, that's because we're yeah. old. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I think, and the guy was like, "Yeah, mm -hmm. like it's so easy with YouTube." And I was like, "Well, we were here before <laughs> YouTube, like, there, yeah. there, or here before YouTube even was doing streaming. Did so. did yeah. streaming stuff? Yeah, 
Yeah, and I mean, and even YouTube back then had like a lot of restrictions. Like, it, you can only upload like up to a hundred megabytes before. Like, you can only mm-hmm. do it like five minute minutes, like ten minutes. Yeah, it's yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, that's actually why we didn't <laughs> use YouTube in the beginning was because we had lesson videos that were longer than ten minutes. Mm-hmm. So we didn't we didn't upload to YouTube, yeah. the, and that's why we still don't upload uh, lessons. Our, the lessons. lesson visit mm-hmm. videos, yeah, but. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're showing our yeah. age, gentlemen. Yeah, <laughs> our internet age. We're we're old internet <laughs> old farts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I, I I used to tell people that like mommy I still do tell people that Ryan had to like create the video player like in the beginning mm-hmm. with, with um it was I am Hawaii I believe right it wasn't Ukula on the ground it was with I am Hawaii he had to build the video player. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and people are like, there what was, does that you, mean? Build you a couldn't, video player. You couldn't just grab the embed code and then put yeah. it on your site. It's like you needed a way for people to view videos on yeah. your website. It was like early days, right, right, like right. Before that, you had to like download the video from somebody's website and then yeah. open Real Player or whatever, <laughs> or, whatever. or Winamp, yeah. Winamp, whatever. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. watch your downloaded video. You couldn't just stream it from the site, and so. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, but I remember that like that was actually the reason why I moved back to Hawaii because I went to school in Colorado, mm-hmm. and um and I moved back to Hawaii because Ryan had just graduated from college and he mm-hmm. was like, I want to make websites with video like in the websites like, and he knew that I had just played around with like e- editing video <laughs> for fun. Yeah. And so he was like, you want to do something like with like music, like Hawaii music and like the internet. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, sure. Like, yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> so I came back and I was trying to figure out a way to make money and do that for fun on the side. And then mm-hmm. it just kind of. <laughs> Little it, did you know you'd be making ukulele just, videos. <laughs> yeah. Ended up coming, <laughs> coming around and this is what we do for life (laughs) for life yeah it's it's really weird it's it's, i still get emails it's funny because people are like oh can i use like the anniversary coupon uh, the 10 year anniversary coupon i'm like no that was two years ago (laughs) so 10 years seems like a lot but that was two years ago too yeah Yeah. jeez we wow Ukulele on the ground is about to go to high school soon. <laughs> Jeez, that's a sobering thought. <laughs> anyway, no, I mean we're we're doing okay, you know. Ukulele on the ground is ukulele on the ground. It's it's, it's a it's a good kid. It's a good boy. It's been uh, <laughs> growing up. Growing up. <clears throat> All right. So uh, next question. Oh. Uh, so- so we don't have a question from the <laughs> chat, but mm-hmm. I, I had a like I was talking to one of our members okay. and he was kind of saying that he tries to play. He'll play his ukulele and then mm-hmm. he'll, I'm guessing, make a backing track through, mm-hmm. you know, whatever, um, like uh, DAW right. on his computer. And then he was asking, though, like, what instrumentation should he use? Because it sounds like his ukulele just gets lost in the mix, you know? Like what instruments mm. should he tr- like? What instruments work well with ukulele, I guess, and what instruments should he try to avoid that might clash with ukulele? Mm. Um, a lot of like, uh, like acoustic stringed instruments work really well with ukulele, like an acoustic guitar. Um, let's see what else, like a classical guitar, just guitar in general. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> acoustic guitar stuff like that. Like as long as you're not, you don't have any uh weird effects on the guitar like a, a distortion or anything like that but um you kind of want something that will complement what the ukulele is doing the ukulele i mean if you don't use any pedals with it should remain pretty much an acoustic instrument so that not maybe you know drums is good but then if you want to go that route maybe more acoustic kind of you know like a acoustic setup of drums maybe like uh like congas bongos like stuff like that um djembe's uh, bass is really good with it too. Uh, piano is really good with it. Um, you know, if you can find some nice warm strings, that sounds pretty good with it. Like, what else? Uh, yeah, as long as it's nothing crazy. And also, um, 
that might also have to do with the mix of your ukulele in general. You know, like you don't want it to be fully blasting, like the background is fully blasting and it's just drowning out your ukulele. Because no matter what the background may be, you can always kind of make your ukulele stand in front and have it still be heard on top of everything else. Um, so you might want to consider doing that too. But if you're looking for complementary instruments, those are, I, I feel, have been, have been the best. Piano, um, maybe keyboard, but depends on what uh, what sound you have the keyboard set to. Um, there's also, <clears throat> I guess, a like guitar, bass, uh, classical guitar, congas, bongos, djembes, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Just nice, nice. Nice instruments. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I I told him when I got back to him, I told him that more than like the instruments, it's mm -hmm. like you can really have any instrument play with the ukulele. Yeah. And it's more about how you mix it in, right? Because like mm -hmm. Jake did full orchestras with the ukulele. Mm -hmm. and he he yeah. still made that work where, but mm -hmm. both him and the orchestra had to play to be able to fit each other. So it's yeah, always yeah. That, kind of that thing. If you're going to put a bunch of instruments or you're going to put weird instruments, you got to think about like, okay, maybe how do I play this differently yeah. to get it to fit with the ukulele? Mm. Yeah. And where does it sit in the mix too? You yeah. Know? Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's that's also pretty important. What do you think, Aaron? <laughs> what, yeah. what, do you, what do you jam with when you play your ukulele? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do like the... Also the ukulele, like the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, melodica. <laughs> yeah, melodica sounds great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's like the classic YouTube. Everybody <laughs> on YouTube that plays ukulele also plays mm. melodica. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Glockenspiel. Uh, well, also like um, the way that you do you kind of like eq your ukulele you cut the highs too right yeah yeah, yeah. So, so um it's a lot fatter um because the yeah. ukulele you know tends to be kind of a high you know it, the high end is super bright so you want to turn down that brightness to make the sound fatter so you i turn down the um the trebles and turn up the mids and lows just to kind of give myself a little bit more body in the ukulele yeah, mm -hmm. and and so that that, that can mm -hmm. kind of help it. I mean, because like the highs, mm -hmm. if it's all highs, then it's kind of it kind of cuts. It's gonna sound deep, thin, yeah. But it's yeah, it's a thin sound. So <clears> if <throat> you were to do uh, like more mids, less highs, then it kind of like comes through in a different way. Yeah, so you can I guess you can play around with that. Yeah. yeah. I send like examples too of like um, Pure Heart and Kyle Crater Boys, and it's just like if you look at how, you know, John and um, you look at how John and or like how they Lepaka. play, yeah, or Lepaka. yeah, and and how they play guitar and how they play drums, right? Oh. Like or like you said, they they weren't. He's not using a full drum kit, and when John mm. plays guitar, it's a very like I feel like that's kind of how we learn how to play guitar in Hawaii, where it's like finger picking. Mm. And you're hitting the bass strings of the guitar with your 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 thumb, and like yeah. it kind of allows us a, a space for the ukulele to be heard really, instead of it just mm -hmm. being like mm -hmm. we're using a, a a plastic pick and you're just strumming the whole time. That yeah. that like might kind of drone out the ukulele. So yeah, that's yeah. true. That's yeah. true too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for the question. Um, do we have another question? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, because I was going to show that. I've been talking about yeah, this for yeah. months, and I finally got it. So I said it was in my house, and it is in my house. So this is uh, that Korean poster that I was talking about. You remember this, Aaron? <laughs> so there's the poster. Right <laughs> yeah. I have, yeah. Uh, like I said, I have a few of them. So I, I don't have that, but this is four. I guess I have four of them. So for the next one of the next giveaways, I'm going to give away one of these Korean posters. Can you read it? What does it say? Uh, tour. <laughs> yeah, so it, I guess like uh, yeah, concert go. workshop. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I I so... guess <clears throat> yeah, like a sort of sort of like a mm -hmm. Korean 
nationwide tour i'm guessing because <laughs> because we we went yeah, it right? was it was a nationwide tour because we went all the way from northern south korea to the uh southernmost part of um south korea right we went all the way down to like uh goje island or whatever that yeah, place yeah, is yeah. called yeah goje yeah island. yeah it's really cool so that's the poster um still I- i'm still letting that thing run through so if you guys want to um show me how it's done you know with the ventura highway you guys want to make a ventura highway video send it over to um what is the what is the site uh what is the what's the email Kai? Uh, or, it's uh questions you, questions questions at, at ukulele mm-hmm. yeah so send it to questions at ukulele i'll sign it and um we'll have it sent over to you talking about that um mm-hmm. should we also we because i mean we've been busy these past few weeks and the last week we were right. just getting this set up but uh yeah. should we try and do a new song challenge because we finished we the last one yeah. oh yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 definitely so um our new song cha- we don't have one booked do we we don't have one right no 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 mm-hmm. yeah okay okay, okay yeah okay so all of you people because we are live right now this thursday live lesson so why don't you guys suggest us some um i don't have a whiteboard or anything to write stuff down on. Well, i'll just i'll make a note in my uh, in my ipad and then we'll post it up on the um on the forum yeah i guess right yeah it... so, there we go so uh give us some keys that you guys want to uh, a key that you guys want to play in and then uh, give us uh some guidelines, uh, what you call some guidelines <laughs> that you guys want to do I guess I could go look at the chat too. I'm, I'm not looking at the chat. I know I normally don't, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't see well, anybody like typing typing in the chat. I can see the Friday chat, but I can't see Thursdays. Usually, uh, usually we like to like have it so that we read you the questions. Yeah. So you, yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. Just, so I like, don't know. <laughs> see the chat and then just answer right away, just in case. Yeah. Yeah. But. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, people, I, I'm guessing there's a delay, so people are probably gonna start. Okay. Pulling yeah. it in, Let but... us know. Let us know what key. Um, the normal or the the most common keys that we get is like C, F, G, D. So how about we do one in a um in a not so common key? So no C's, no D's, no F's, no G's, no A's. <laughs> oh, that's a challenge. Cause why? We got all the time in the world right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can learn a new key or a, a new key. Yeah. A yeah. few a few chords from a new key. Yeah. I, I figured like now would be the perfect time. Like it seems like people are home and maybe they can yep. start to make their own song. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh Trent said B flat, uh Renee said B flat's mm-hmm. good. Renee kind of like that's a little cheating. She said D minor. Oh, <laughs> D minor is F. That counts as F. <laughs> <laughs> counts as F. Yoda said E, E major. Uh, Kevin oh, said B. People are gonna hate. <laughs> people are gonna hate. We can't do E. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, well, that goes this uh, this week's <laughs> or this time's <laughs> challenge because I can't do E. How about B flat? B flat sounds pretty good actually. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because uh, it's got F in there. It's got G minor. He's got E flats, you know. So those chords don't necessarily me uh, need any, you know, any, any new fingerings or anything like that. So just to kind of give you guys a heads up, B flat. We should all kind of know how to play B flat, you know, for the most part. If you're having a hard time with this chord, um, my suggestion is to bar the first fret for now until you kind of get used to just using the bottom two strings. So you can go full bar with your pointer finger, middle finger in the C string second, and ring finger in the G string third. And then uh, after a while, maybe you can loosen up that those training wheels and just do three strings like this, and then move down to two strings like this and completely take off the training wheels, you know? So um, that, yeah, B flat, you got F, you got G minor, you got D minor. And then uh, you also have, I believe C minor is in there. Yeah, C minor is in there. And uh, E flat. Okay, so nice, you know, nice chords, not too bad. E flat would be maybe the new chord for some of you folks, but uh, E flat doesn't take too much. It's just kind of like your G minor, but with your ring finger, oh, sorry, middle finger on the C string third fret. So pointer finger in the A string first, ring finger in the E string third, middle finger on the C string third. 
So let's all do something in B flat. Okay, so now that we got the key, let's just, um, instead of doing a chord progression, because it's kind of uh, new for everybody, let's just make it a uh, just an open key. Like, uh, not open key, but open chord progression. So just anything in the key of B flat. As long as you're in the key of B flat, it counts. Okay, that's that's all you need, maybe, right? <laughs> For the uh, for the challenge itself, write a song in the key of B flat. That's yeah. the challenge. So yeah. uh, show you folks so far. <laughs> key <laughs> of B flat. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know how to t t <laughs> turn the turn the camera, but yeah, key of B flat. Here we have. So now, give me some suggestions. Yeah, uh, I typed in the chat like uh, people can suggest genres or like yeah. things we can write about, or we always try to do that for bonuses, right? Mm -hmm. so. mm. Should we do like um, we usually do uh lyrics for the bonus, but then should we also do like the mm. weird time signature or do a key change mm. or do one of those uh, things? Maybe a waltz at three four, you know. So okay. waltz. So I'll just put in parentheses three over four. That's <laughs> that's always fun, you know. And yeah. a waltz in B flat sounds pretty great actually. Okay, um, so we got waltz. Then we have, um, let's see, uh, right about the virus. I don't know. That might like, you know, like <laughs> yeah. trigger downer, some people. man. <laughs> downer, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm now reading the chat. It's like, oh, that's <laughs> downer. <laughs> hey, maybe not that. Maybe we'll, we'll pick a different subject just so, you know, something happy. How about a happy subject? Something right about something happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it's like that's a challenge. Yeah, it's a challenge right now. That's <laughs> that's a challenge. <laughs> yeah, like something happy or positive. Yeah, yeah, happy, positive. I'll put that down. Um, what else? Hmm. How about? Uh, how about like, let's let's get specific with the happy subject. Um. Let's see. I was gonna say like, like how about happy like payday? But no, that might trigger some people too. <laughs> <That's triggering. laughs> Already just thinking about it, you know? Like, oh snap. What do you mean I can't play Wednesdays? <laughs> Most people's paydays are Fridays, mine are Wednesdays. <laughs> but um, let's see. How about for for like uh i i think like these are like all bonuses that you know, it's pretty yeah. obtainable you guys can do right right but like i was thinking what if we do like one that's like pretty hard like give people if people want it a challenge rate where mm -hmm. what what's a hard key to do a key change to like from Ooh, from you know, b flat okay yeah okay, and the challenge look whoever wants to like they can try to you know get to that key in whatever way okay. they can Got you. Okay. So how about you go from B flat to a B flat minor? <laughs> the B flat minor key, right? Key. So, the key of B flat minor. Yeah. Okay. Key change to minor. And that's for those people who uh, who are wondering, it's the key of C sharp. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Trent just said B flat to C sharp. Yeah. B flat to C. Yeah. Well, that's, you know. Uh, let's see. Uh, the chat wasn't um, updating for me, so I'm going to have to join the chat in order for the chat to be updated, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Whew. Oh. Okay, Dream Guerrero is in the chat. <laughs> uh, okay, or D flat. I mean, if you want to go D flat, I guess that would be. Yeah, if you're, you're in B flat, B flat. <laughs> it has to be D flat, not too sharp. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's like it's B flat minor, you know, like that's the key. But I'm just thinking, oh, C sharp. yeah, that's I mean, yeah, that's yeah. Really bad. But I guess if you're being technical, technical. Jim, it's just <laughs> that was just for my, you know, for my own <laughs> reference in my head. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> mm. But yeah, it's B B flat minor, not to be you know to be confused because it's going to be a minor. Okay, not 
I want to see D flat songs. I want to see minor songs. So, <laughs> and the reason why I want to do that is because um, it's supposed to be a happy tune. So like a happy, you know, major key. And then you have to keep the happiness through the minor key. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wanted to do that. So, okay. Uh, keep the happy. Uh, and the, and the this happy. is all bonus stuff. So you don't yeah, have to do have to. any. As long as you write a song in B flat, you're all good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can be what really else? basic, just like one or two chords too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so. Um, let's see. I don't know. That sounds like we we got like. Sounds good. Sounds good. Ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kind of so, <laughs> let's think backwards. Uh, key B flat. Waltz three four. Make it happy, positive, and key change to B flat minor. Yeah. All right. So that is your um, ukulele writing challenge for Thursday live lesson. That's gonna be tough, man. That's. Are we gonna uh, Are we gonna make it for us that it's due in two weeks and for everybody else is doing three? Same thing. Like sure. Yeah. The same same old rules. Nothing changes, baby. Okay. <laughs> so so we got all the time in the world to write a song now. <laughs> so so for us we're gonna come back on the 16th and we'll, we'll play our songs i gotta figure yeah. out a way to play the song and then um on the 23rd i guess we'll mm -hmm. see if people remade or made their own songs too yeah, yeah. and then go. so do you want to give them the poster you said we'll do that for like the next we'll do a poster week. yeah we'll, we'll give away we'll give you a poster so um I'll, that poster that i showed you guys well i'll give one away i said i had four so i'm giving away one to the um you know to the ventura highway one you know and then i'll give one to uh the live lesson challenge because why not you guys are you <laughs> plus subscribers you guys is there something cool <laughs> yeah that's we, it. we that guy that guy is so young <laughs> <laughs> We we gotta get one of those to Renee, right? Like, cause she won the hot sauce challenge. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. yeah. And the last one I'll keep for myself. So the three, I've already been spoken for. Yeah, yeah. These, um, I think I, I had five. I came home with five, and um, of all people, Bo from Rainbow Joe's wanted one. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, uh, I posted it on my um on my Instagram. Like it was just like a like a wall full of those posters. And uh and Bo like commented like oh could you know can you bring one home or can you, can you <laughs> get me one? I was like I guess so uh I took it and I, oh I, I think I asked Miss Moon for one and she gave me like a bunch of them. So like mm -hmm. I'm like yeah I'll, I'll take it. So I think I had five to begin with and now but uh, it's not the best quality because like they literally took that picture from Google uh, Google Images <laughs> and like and made the uh, do you remember that Aaron? it's like super like kind of blurry you know oh, is <laughs> you it? from Google Images and yeah because um yeah okay this is story time so she <laughs> she didn't want to ask like you know for uh for for a professional photo because she she figured she could just like google you know and, and and find it and stuff that's why when i came to korea they're like we're thinking about you know like um uh, giving you a present so our present is going to be you know like we want to get you a, a professional photographer so that you can have some like photos that we can use for uh for for the poster do you remember that like mm -hmm. they, um, we we were on one of the one of the stops because I think we were driving down to uh, Goje Island, and um, on one of the stops, like Miss Moon was like, oh, you know, like we're we're gonna you know gonna book you like somebody to to take professional pictures. I'm like, why? It's like, oh, because uh, we didn't find any pictures of you, you know, like that uh, that we could use for the poster. So you know, like, and she showed me the poster afterwards. I'm like, oh, that is, wow. Why would you print that? <laughs> 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 and um. And because uh, and because that happened, I, I told her I was like, "Oh, actually, I'm I'm dating a photographer. Like, I have good photos. If you just <laughs> ask for good photos, I would have given you like good size photos. Like, I'm, yeah, because I think me and because uh, Heather took that picture, you know that. Uh -huh. picture. Um, and I had like the good big file, the actual, she could, yeah, yeah, she could file. use for the poster. But she's like, "Oh, I I didn't know, you know, I didn't want to ask." So it's. You guys, once you guys get the poster, you're gonna see it like, oh, that, yeah, this is from Google. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it's that uh, you know how some people like the defects, you know, like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. 
this is this is one of those times where like it's it's the the defective poster is better than the regular poster. <laughs> There's a story behind it, you know. I feel like it adds to the authenticity, right? Like, the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, kinda, yeah, yeah, yeah. That also happened in China too, right? When we went to China, oh my god, <laughs> there was a an entire wall. <laughs> Of your face and yeah. <laughs> and it was like very pixelated because it was obviously not um like a yeah. high quality photo. It was a it was a picture that they took of me the year before because like I um that was the oh, second oh. time that I did uh, I, uh it's an ukulele company called Mauloa and um uh-huh. and and I did the demo for them the year before but then the second time I think I got you to come in right yeah yeah so, I didn't go the first time. <laughs> So um, maybe I went two times. No, I guess. No, I only went twice. I think I only went twice. Anyway, so the second time uh, when, when we came, they had like this, uh, they had the booth like in the stage and stuff. I like, didn't even have a stage like the, the year before I went. Um, mm-hmm. But the year before I went, they like snapped a photo of me playing their ukuleles. And then like <laughs> whatever that photo was that they snapped at me, they blew that up to like a <laughs> full on like life size, you know? <laughs> yeah. And that's yeah. me. Me and Aaron like kind of walked in and were like, oh, I guess that's the booth. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the that's the booth that, that we're playing at. Look at that gigantic, pixelated picture of, <laughs> of me. Yeah. That's the only. That was like the only picture of you playing their ukuleles in existence. <laughs> so they had to use that one. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. better than, you know, like somebody creating an entire catalog of you playing like a different ukulele, you know? <laughs> At least it was just that one picture. It was yeah. just the one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when, when I was making the thumbnails last week, I was thinking, yeah. like, man, I kind of miss our old setup. Like, I'm glad this <laughs> works, but that's one thing that, like, when you look at the, the picture blown up, it's like, mm, yeah, this, this is a little. Yeah, little webcam-y. Yeah, it's, tell. it's authentic. It's yep, authentic. Yep, yep. Yeah, there you go. That's that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're real, baby. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Trent had a question. He asked, sure. is there a master strum, like a strum that will help you learn all strums or help you learn strums quicker? Oh, like the one strum to rule them all, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. Um, well, I mean, the master strum is the strum that we teach everyone. Like the, um, you know, like the point to yourself and point down to the ground. If you can, you know, everything stems from that. That's why. So if you do the point to yourself and point down to the ground, um, this, if you can, you know, you can strum it fast. You can strum it slow. You can add, um, you know, you can add technique like rolls and chunks and finger picking from there, you know. Um, you can also uh, like do, do some syncopation with them. Um, and with, with just your pointer finger and add some like accents with the, uh, you know, with the rest of your fingers right there, but it still stems from the pointing to itself and pointing down to the ground. And that's why we teach this strum because everything else kind of follows this, you know, this, uh, this very basic form. It's just a form of strumming, you know? Um, and I, I feel that you can get any kind of strum pattern. If we're going back to strumming patterns, you can get any kind of strum pattern by just doing this this strum right here. This strum is just the best strum for everything, you know. Because um, if you're thinking strumming pattern, then like then there's no like strum master strumming pattern, but master technique of strumming. This is really the uh, the master strum that I would, you know, that I would call the master strum. That's it. Because everything stems from pointing to yourself and pointing down to the ground and twisting the wrist and all that stuff. Because from here, I can do a regular down, down, down. I can do a down, up, down, down, up, down, up. See what I mean? There's like so much things that you can do with this form, you know. The um, and let me lower the camera so you guys can see my hands a lot better. So with this uh, with this kind of form, you can do so much. You can do um, reggae. You can do slow songs.
you can do uh, you can do pretty much anything you want. You can go slow, you can go fast, you can add some technique, you can do uh, instrumentals, you can do all sorts of stuff. Yeah, Trent Trent said that he meant strumming pattern, uh, but th- <laughs> that really is like um, yeah. I think that's something that people who get better overlook, yeah. and professionals yeah. use all the time. Like mm-hmm. if if there's somebody who's playing a song and a professional tries to play along with them, but they don't know the rhythm or they don't know what to strum, they'll yeah. just start doing that. That like you know, just a down up, down up mm-hmm. to feel the pulse first. And once they yeah. feel the pulse, then they can be like, oh, okay, I can play this thing or something else, you know. And like mm-hmm. you kind of you naturally like you take away things or you emphasize uh, certain sounds or you do things that mm-hmm. will make it fit the song better. So really, yeah. if you if you just it sounds funny, but like if you do that with every song that you come across and you're just like trying to f- figure it out through hearing, you'll like come up with your own, you know, strumming patterns or strumming yeah. anything. And I think it's like then you'll figure out like, oh, strumming patterns aren't really a thing. It's just yeah. you're trying to match the rhythm, basically. Yeah. Right. Because, I mean, if there was one strumming pattern, let's, let's just let's say that there was one strumming pattern to rule them all. Let's just say it's the down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, you know? say, say that's the one. Do you really want to hear every single song as down, down, up, up, down, up? You know I mean? <laughs> like it's not. So there should. So my short answer is there shouldn't be one. There shouldn't be a whatever master strum strum to rule them all like the one ring or whatever you know there yeah. shouldn't be that because you got a pattern shouldn't be a thing <laughs> you got to throw that pattern in the mountain eventually yeah you got to get rid of it <laughs> mordor throw it throw it in the fire <laughs> and sam yeah. is going to be there he's going to help you <laughs> it's like it's, we're done mr frodo <laughs> <laughs> we we done it now, now we're going to get saved by eagles which we should have used to get up here in the first place <laughs> <laughs> no no it, it makes sense only it could only happen at the end yeah. <laughs> right i just use the eagles put it in the eagle <laughs> just toss it in the safety th- Nine hours. <laughs> Nine hours of the movie. You just don't understand the the magic system in Middle Earth. Yeah, you, you get it. I understand. There's a lot of walking. <laughs> a lot of walking in those movies. You had to fill up the book somehow. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> I'll attach it there. But yeah, there shouldn't be a like one strum to rule them all because. You don't want to be hearing that same strum for everything, you know. Like there should be um, little, you know, like little tweaks here and there. So, and, and if it's if it's a tweak here, it's not necessarily the pattern anymore because you're changing the pattern, right? So I would just say that, you know, there shouldn't be one if that's what you're asking. <laughs> yeah. But if, yeah. if 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 I you know, uh, gun to my head, if I had to like kind of choose one, I think it's that one. But I don't want it to be that one. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> or down up down up there you go down up yeah. down up down up down up down up down up should be the master strum <laughs> yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> that, that's basically what it is right if you yeah. if you do uh i guess downs on all of the the beats, down beats yep or uh or double time that right so, yeah. so mm-hmm. down up down up down up down up down yeah. up down up down up down up all you're doing for every other strumming pattern that is yeah. out there is removing some of those strums yeah. mm-hmm. but you're still moving your hand yeah to yeah. that you know yeah. to the down up down up down up yeah you're, you're still moving mm. but you're just missing the strings on some of them yeah, so yeah. so even that down down up up down up <laughs> strum that would be you know a master <laughs> strum like that's that's the same thing as down up 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 but you're edited. just missing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're just not hitting the strings on some of them. So that would be because I guess you could strum yeah. any song with down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or down, 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 <laughs> like in a more simpler sense. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. there, there are some people who wish that they you could do every song yeah. like that. But when you actually <laughs> do hear it, it's like, uh, yeah, it's not great. Mm. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> every ukulele club. <laughs> Same strum. Same well, strum. We, we were talking about um, uh, what is it called? The uh, mob, the ukulele like flash mob we did in San yeah. Francisco, and where mm-hmm. you can see everybody's like Cynthia taught everybody a simple strumming pattern, 
And when you look at, you know, like Craig and Abe and like everybody else who's like professionals who are there, Mm -hmm. they're not doing the strumming pattern because they probably hear that everybody else is. And they're like, Mm -hmm. why would I do the same thing? I'm going to, you know, double time it or I'm going to do something a little bit different Mm -hmm. just to add in that like Mm -hmm. little break. So for uh, probably for themselves, you know, like I need a little break in yeah. what I hear can't at just, least. Can't just be down, down, up, up, down, up the entire time. I just lose my mind. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like yeah. Uh, so Patrick said. So essentially, there is mm-hmm. unlimited strumming patterns. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and there is like unlimited strumming patterns, and it's almost like there's no strumming patterns because no. really is rhythmic kind of things. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, because I mean, even even a really repetitive song, usually there's a section of the song where they want to emphasize something, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So, so even that, where like you're deviating from, you, you might be playing even the same exact kind of pattern, but you're still emphasizing one one of the strums more than the others, which is different than just playing it straight. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it it just depends on like what part of the song that you're playing and what, you know, what you want like like songs are supposed to convey an idea and emotion mm-hmm. and so, you know, it's going to build like the emotion is going to build at certain points and you mm-hmm. really just have to react to that like your strumming has to con- convey those kind of themes yeah. and those feelings. So so yeah, you can't stick to just one thing even mm-hmm. within the same song. Yeah. Yeah, uh, okay, Trent. Or Trent said uh, some rhythms are really hard to get the hang of. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, that, a lot of that has to just kind of do with just down. Like, just get the down. Like, figure out what the down beat is. Just start out with just the down. Regardless of what song you're playing, regardless of the um the time signature, even you know, like if you just get just the downs, then you'll get where the ups are. And then just kind of follow the uh, follow the groove of that song. It starts out with down because every single song in the entire world has a downbeat. If you can find where the downbeat is and just kind of clap, if you can clap along to it, just start with a clap and then get um, uh, get fancy from there. You know, you don't necessarily have to start out with a strumming pattern already. Like if you're gonna learn a song, of course you're gonna figure out how fast the song is first. How you can figure that out is just just the down strums. If that's the tempo of the song, then you're good. Then from there, you can add the ups. And maybe just take out some strums, like, like what Aaron was saying. Maybe double time. I got all that just from just a down strum. You know, so if you figure out where the... Um, you know where the the downbeats are it's actually going to you know going to show you what the pattern is going to be <laughs> yeah and and i yeah. think um if you listen to or like if you're trying to figure out the rhythm for a song mm-hmm. that doesn't have ukulele in it and there's like no mm. strumming or anything yeah like how well do you know the drums in the song like how mm-hmm. well can you recite the drums in your head can you recall yeah. what the drums are playing and if you can it's do true. that then you can hear what the rhythmic pattern is and you can you sh- should be able to like that's where uh people say oh you need a feel for it really it's like mm-hmm. you need to hear the song enough where it's stuck in your head and you can mm-hmm. recall it and try to emulate it back through it through yourself playing you know and it's, you don't have to do it like one for one, like if it's a crazy drum solo or something, but just mm-hmm. know the important, like, oh, the important rhythms are the f- two and four, or, you know, or this yeah. like little drum fill that they do right here. Like, that's what you kind of want to do. Yeah. yeah. And I think if you're thinking about it too much, <laughs> then that's where you're going to have mm. problems, right? So like everybody is kind of like, how are these little kids playing ukulele so easily? And a lot of it is just because they're not really thinking about yeah. it, I think, you know, yeah, they're, they're not, not they don't have any, themselves. yeah, they don't have any preconceptions of who they are as a mm. person. And Mm-mm. all they're doing is just like listening and copying. And yeah. if you can just break it down to just that, just think of yourself as like a little kid hearing something and just repeating it, you mm-hmm. know? So like you're, you're hearing a, a rhythm and then you're just kind of just trying to repeat it in any way that you can possibly do it with your hand yeah then you're not thinking about is it is it an up or is it a down yeah like, you know the, it doesn't matter as long as it comes out 
right. um, sounding kind of like similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, my my, I I just there's a video of my sister holding a ukulele in front of uh, my seven month nephew, and he's mm. already like whacking the strings and oh, like nice. that. Yeah, you can tell that that's a good thing already because. I think so many yeah. adults are afraid of just that first step of like, yeah. oh, just you mean, strum. <laughs> yeah, you mean I got to, well, how do I hit the strings or stuff? But mm -hmm. the kids just know, like, if I hit the string, it's going to make a noise. <laughs> and that's all I want to do. I just want to yeah. hit the string. And like, yeah, that's when you're starting off as a beginner, you really have to think as like a baby or a little kid where it's like, mm -hmm. just hit the string. Just you just want to make noise. It doesn't have to be <laughs> good. It yeah. yeah, it doesn't have yeah. to sound good. It doesn't it doesn't reflect anything about your yourself. <laughs> as, right. Like A lot of times we have um, professionals, you know, who are. Yeah. Who come come as like oh i'm a doctor and i'm trying to learn how to play ukulele but like yeah part of part of the thing that you have to get over is that you view yourself as like this this adult this person who no should know how to do things you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if it's something that you've never done before you're just you gonna allow beginner. yourself to yeah it. yeah just be able to not sound good and that's mm -hmm. okay because i've never played this before so yeah yeah, so don't even think about it as like, like oh, I got to get to this, you know, this far away place that, you know, I mm -hmm. I want, I view myself mm -hmm. as like, oh, that's who I want to be. Just, <laughs> take it every, just the it's step like, by I'm, step. I'm so good at medicine. Why can't I do this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why can't I just do a simple strumming? Like, it, no, yeah. it doesn't equate yeah. that way. It's no, just, no. you just got to try it out and, and yeah. have fun along the I'm, way. <laughs> so I... I um, I think I told the audience that I've been kind of learning piano and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, I seriously have to go like one, two, three, <laughs> uh -huh. four in my left hand while I do like yeah. something else in my right hand. Cause I'm yeah. like, well, I can, I can like compose these, like, you know, <laughs> these like elaborate, like musical themes of my ukulele. But when I'm playing piano, it's like, okay, one, two, three, four. And then like doing yeah. this with my hands, it's, it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got to kind of humble yourself. Right. And, even if you're a musician, you know, like not mm -hmm. even like like doctor going to music and stuff, a musician doing some like another instrument in music, it's still going to be, you know, kind yeah. of difficult. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think I think ukulele is deceptively easy. Right. So that's why people mm -hmm. think like, oh, my overall experience <laughs> should be that I just scroll exponentially. But there's yeah. a learning curve. You're going to hit that curve where. All of a sudden, the things mm -hmm. that you want to learn are harder than, you know, what you have previously. So right, you're right. going to need more time, more effort. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So what Patrick says it's like learning juggling. Lots of pride. I've been car juggling and that's for over <laughs> a year and I'm still not good at that. <laughs> I, I think, too, like <laughs> even when you do a down up, down up strum with yeah. like just listening to music. Is like you don't even have to worry about trying to match the pulse really, mm -hmm. because if you just do it enough, I think you'll hear that like oh, it's kind of like you know, it's the wheels are starting to roll together. You know, it's not like mm -hmm. my wheel is starting to roll off. I think when mm -hmm. people are like, do I go faster? Do I go slower? That's when it's like you're making your wheel wobbly. You're like putting too much thought into it. It's yeah. gonna happen yeah. naturally. Yeah. And people yeah. say like, oh, I don't have natural rhythm and stuff. And that's like n scientists have looked at it and it's pretty untrue for everybody because even as like a baby, you try to mm -hmm. like naturally match, you know, things like mm -hmm. you're if you're listening to your mom's heartbeat or you're listening to somebody's heartbeat, you try your like your heartbeat will try to match to it, too. So it's yeah. everybody ha kind of has that sense in them. And yeah. I don't think you need to really force it. It is just like the time that you put into it and doing kind of the baby steps. Or just like mm -hmm. walking, just like you said, steps and stuff, or, or like walking. If you feel like you don't have rhythm and stuff, like if you're walking and you're walking relatively like, you know, and you're, you're going to be walking in rhythm because you'll know if you're off rhythm and, 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 and walking and stuff. Like <laughs> yeah. If you're like starting to skip some steps and whatnot. So, or if you rush one leg before the other, no, like we all walk at a pace. If you can pace, that's rhythm, you know, like your, your body has the natural rhythm you know, to, to, uh, to, to do these, these tasks. If you don't think about it, cause you don't think about walking. You're like, am I walking too slow? I'm walking too fast. You just go, you just walk. Yeah. 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 And that's yeah. the same thing with musicians um, 
who have been doing it for a while like they're yeah. not thinking about strumming either no <laughs> it's like exactly the same thing yeah it's more like give me the chords i just want to know the, what the chords are because i can yeah. do the rest you know yeah. yeah yeah just i'm i'm listening to what all the other musicians are doing or how mm. the song goes and then i'm just kind of following that by feel but yeah. i'm not thinking about strumming or what right. direction my hand is moving yeah because if you you know it if say like say i invite my friend to go out you know to to grab a burger or something we meet together and it's like oh how are you gonna walk so i can follow you you know what i mean like what, <laughs> what's your walking pattern like <laughs> it's gonna be yeah, left right your... left right left right you know <laughs> it's the same thing you know like you're just you're just gonna walk it doesn't matter if you sync yourself up with your friend like as long as you're relatively doing you know like it, it together yeah. like walk the same pace it's it's fine you're not gonna ask your yeah. friend every time you know like what's your walking pattern uh... it's just, it's the same thing. You don't even think about it. You just walk together, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And you, like <laughs> the other example too is like if you talk, you have mm -hmm. a natural talking cadence. You don't yeah. like when you talk, you don't suddenly talk, start talking faster and then you slow it down. It's like you, you're probably going to have a way that you speak yeah. in rhythm. A cadence. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And without realizing it. And that is rhythm. Like you're setting a set pace for how you speak so mm -hmm. there's all these examples that you already have rhythm in you it's just you haven't applied it to ukulele or you haven't applied it mm -hmm. to music so you're really uh you know a two-month-old trying to walk and would you expect the two-month-old to be able to and like we get you know people are like oh why can't i play europa yeah. it's like well you're trying to go <laughs> for the you know the 50 yard dash when you, you've only been playing <laughs> yeah. for two months like you hold your horses you're not gonna get there you know it takes a little bit of time yeah 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 still don't be scared to be a beginner beginner's not a dirty word i think we've said that before it's not a dirty yeah. word yeah Being i think beginner's it's fine it's kind of a continuous word because then you realize how how much of a beginner you are all mm. the way along the journey mm. So Trent just added that or said that jamming is different than replicating a song. It is kind of different, but I also think mm. that you both use a lot of the same techniques. Like yeah. you're listening to what's being played and you're trying to fit in or you're trying to mm -hmm. match it. So it, right. yeah, I don't think you when need you're to. jamming a song, there's a, there's a certain level of replicating it as well, right? Because you're playing the same yeah. chords and same rhythm mm -hmm. and stuff. At least at first, you know. If, yeah. if especially if you don't know what the song is being played, right? Like then you mm -hmm. really would be just replicating or trying to break it down in your head to, oh, what what would fit, what chords will fit, what key is this in, that kind of thing. So yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Beginner, not a dirty word. We've we've covered that before. We're saying it again. And no more strumming patterns. <laughs> like we've created a monster here at Ukulele on the Ground. And we, we want to slay the monster. I, <laughs> I want to, I really want to name this po the this particular podcast, though, the one strong pattern to rule them all. <laughs> but, like, do you think people are, like, going to be disappointed? Yeah, people are like, oh, I should download this. <laughs> <laughs> it's clickbait, man. It's clickbait. Yeah. I'm gonna, or I'm going to, maybe I'll title it, like, throwing the strong pattern into Mordor. <laughs> just just title it um what's your walking pattern? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah. What's gonna be your walking pattern so I can follow you, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope I hope that becomes a thing. Like people will start asking each other like what's your pattern? what's your walking pattern? <laughs> like, I wanna be able to follow, you know? Like I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna mess it up uh -huh. for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that, that gave me that gave me instant flashbacks and instant anxiety back to marching because that is <laughs> your walking pattern. Yeah, there's a walking pattern. <laughs> yeah, and I was terrible at it. Yeah. yeah. So like, well, my my problem with marching was like the same exact problem where people mm. will strum on the down strum, right? Mm. Like, or strum up on the down strum. I would use my left foot when other people were using the right. But it's like <laughs> even then. I'm doing the same. I know rhythmically I'm doing the same thing. It's just I couldn't get my feet to line up. So, yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. Marching Bad. Did you have Miss Paleka for Marching Bad? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Miss Paleka. She saved our uh, retreat. Like the first beginning down of the retreat. Shout yeah. out to Miss Paleka. Because uh, the first night of the retreat, my sound system for some reason just got wet and 
didn't work. She came, saved the day, brought uh, the sound system from Kapa, like middle, no, high school, from Kapa High School, brought it down to uh, to Oasis and saved the uh, the retreat. So thank you. Shout out to Miss Paleka. <laughs> yeah. Right, Kahai? Yeah. I, I had her for marching and I had Mike too. Like Mike was <laughs> kind of like a assistant teacher and he helped Is us it? a lot. So he was he, a l- lieutenant teacher. <laughs> yeah, he's always been that, like for the yeah. the high school up here. So, yeah. yeah, he Mike definitely knows how terrible I was at both marching and trumpet. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure if you told Mike like, oh, you know, mm. Kahai, like when I was in high school, he's like, you know, Kahai is gonna be working for a ukulele company. He's gonna be like. Why? <laughs> you can't even march. I, mean, I guess I've heard him play guitar and stuff, but what? Why? Yeah, little did they know. All right, guys. Um, I think I think we should call it. It's two p.m. All right, folks. That about does it for Thursday live lessons. There anything that we want to, you know, we want to bring up before we go? Um, there's a brand new lesson. Check out the brand new lesson over at ukulele uh, underground dot com. It is uh, is it boys like you? Yeah. Is it, <laughs> girls, is it like like girls like you? Yeah. Girls like you? I don't know. I've <laughs> only heard chicks sing it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, Girls Like You uh, featuring Evan McKay. It's, it's one of the songs that we recorded with him. He's such a talented dude. He's got a, he's got a CD out. Make sure to support, you know, um, support the musicians, especially at this time, you know, like where people aren't really gigging that much. So uh, Evan K, so E-V-A-N, K-H-A-Y, is it K-H-A-Y? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Evan K. Um, he also did Lost in Japan. So if you're, you know, if you're a fan, um, support his music and support all the, the musicians, um, especially the ones that we've featured on Ukulele Underground. You know, they're uh, they could they could go use a um like a like a download or or like if buy their merch or anything like that, but just support all the yeah, all the musicians out there because we really need to keep music alive, everyone. Okay. Um Let's see. Uh, do, is there any other like lessons, anything like that? Uh, we should. Oh well, we should probably mention that uh, one-on-one coaching is happening right after this. Yeah. Because last week we we didn't get too much people, so uh, mm-hmm. even though there's people in the chat, like if you can. Jo- uh, jump into one on one. Yeah, coaching. jump in, join us, and uh, just kind of talk story. If you have a question, like ask us there. Um, it's basically the same format as this now, you know. Um, but let's see. But I guess you guys can jump in on the uh, on the Zoom room because that's that's a totally separate room that we have there, and you guys can uh, ask questions that way. Show me what you got. I can give you some, you know, some feedback. Also, we added lots of slots um, over at the private lesson. Um, I I did Monday and Tuesday, and it was like. All the slots were filled, and it's like it's it's crazy, like how much people um has kind of responded to you know to the to the added slots over uh, over there. And I think April is filling up really fast if if it hasn't already. So make sure you mm-hmm. book your private lesson now. Um, once again, Tuesday we've opened up, and Friday morning has also been opened up. And that doesn't mean Friday afternoon is gone because Friday afternoon is there. So on Friday afternoon, I do private lessons from nine to twelve. Then again at two to four so there's a lot of uh, a lot of slots open for private lessons guys i want to be able to help out each and every one of you i know there's a lot of time um you know that that people have extra right now and i would love it if you guys come and see me okay have a great Mm -hmm. one everyone um check out ukuleleontheground.com to learn how to play the ukulele and take your ukulele playing to the next level by signing up for uu plus i'll see you folks next time aloha stick around for one-on-one coaching